Hi. This segment is sponsored by Michigan State Federal Credit Union. Oh. Joining us this morning. Oh, we lost her. This morning from the Humane Society <laughs> Executive Director Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Who'd you bring? Hi, I brought Jaco with me today. Hi, Jaco. So cute. <laughs> Jaco is very playful, super cute kitten, one of many that you guys have right now. Yes, definitely. Um, Jaco and his litter mates are available for adoption right now. He's about three months old. Um, super playful. Um, I don't think he stopped purring this entire morning. So um, whoever adopts him is going to be very lucky. <laughs> He's so tiny, too. I know. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and, and you said, how many kitties do we have at, at the society right now? Just a, quite a few, I hear. Yes, we have over 200 cats right oh. now. Um, so lots of animals looking for their homes right now. Um, we've we've been very full all summer and everything so we still have lots of animals looking for their homes dogs cats yeah guinea pigs <laughs> absolutely and, and and while you have lots of younger pets it is also time to think about our senior pets who need a home um people can get them for free yes it's um actually senior pet month so um humane society of west michigan has a program called silver paws um oh. so any <laughs> any Jacob. animals in our care um cats over 10 years of age or dogs over eight years of age are fee waived. Um, they come up to date on all their medical, have blood work done, they're just ready to go and live out their, their golden years in their forever home. Yeah, sometimes it's great to have an older pet. They know what yep. to do, yeah. you know, you have to the train them. Yeah. 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 taken care of. Yes. So yeah, plus you're doing something good. You're, give, you're giving mm -hmm. that pet, you're giving that cat or dog, you know, the best life they can at yeah. end of days. Oh, we're, Jayco's Jayco's. taking off, scoping out yeah. the thing. <laughs> hey, uh, tell us about the Orphan Kitten Club. I'm yes. sure you got a big thank you to give out there yes, too. Yes, we're very grateful. Um, we are a part of the Orphan Kitten Club, which is a national nonprofit that um, really tries to take care of uh, neonatal kittens. So um, oh. we're very grateful. We recently received a grant from them for a kitten named Georgia, um, who's very similar to um, <laughs> very similar to Jaco here. Oh. Um, except that she was found not in the greatest conditions. Um, she was found in someone's front yard on a rainy day um, oh. and unable to walk. So um, we were able to get her in and assess her and found out she had a broken femur. Um, so she had to go um, have orthopedic surgery at a specialist um, wow. and Orphan Kitten Club deemed her a mighty cat. So they were actually able to cover her procedure wow. costs for us. So we were so grateful for that. Um, she's living the life in a foster home right now being spoiled. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And so still can't walk, but now is, is going to be okay. Uh, she's or, starting to hobble around a little is. bit. Okay. She's in a recovery phase. So um, they bounce back super fast from orthopedic surgery. Oh. So she's doing really well. Oh my gosh. What a great story. <laughs> oh my goodness. Me and Jigo are just chilling out over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, there's some uh, community clinics coming up as well, some important information to share. Yes, definitely. Um, right now, um, one of the biggest barriers for animals staying in their loving homes is access to veterinary care. Um, so to kind of help out with that, we have a couple of community vaccine clinics coming up. Um, on November 14th out at our shelter from 12 to 3 and then on November 21st out at Seacom Resource Center on the southeast side of the city um, so people can come get heartworm tests for their pets, vaccines, preventatives to keep them nice and healthy. Wow that's such a great resource yeah. we really appreciate that and thank you so much Tanya for bringing Jayco what a cute kitty of course if you want any information um, people can find that about the clinics and things like that on your website as well. Yes. There you go it's right there <laughs> on your screen. Uh, hswestmichigan.org and all the numbers there as well. All right, that's all the time we have.